Hello, I'm Ryan F9 and these are my favorite motocross and off-roading goggles. <laughs> Personally, I don't put a lot of pressure on my goggles. They have to keep the dust out of my eyes and not fog up, but other than that, I just want them to look cool. In my opinion, the Barstow Classic goggles from 100% have that perfect style. Now see, 100% was huge during the golden age of motocross, and in many ways, they never really left the 1980s. Now we have vintage lettering across the strap. The connection point is old school, genuine leather. That might be canvas or suede, depending on which colorway I choose. There's a pinstripe on the frame, and the lens is bronze. I mean, all of that screams moto heritage. It's also technical enough for my trail riding and light moto. Tear-off pins on the lens, those are nice to have. Uh, the frame, though, is only going to be a single layer, so ventilation is not the best. I do have four molded intakes on the top, and a bunch of slits around the bottom and the sides, so it's good enough not to fog on me. In the box, I get a microfiber bag, which I pretty much expect, but I also got a spare clear lens, which I didn't expect. I would say that the Barstows are a small frame size. They'll fit in pretty much every motocross helmet just fine. Now I'm wearing a Bell MX-9 here. It has a very standard sized eye port, so of course the Barstow fits in there, no problems. To look out of, I would say that the field of vision is just average, um, but I do really love the hue. I mean, this bronze lens gives everything a yellowish tint. I used to ride in the mountains in BC a lot, and I know and I love a yellowish tint for discerning elements in the fog. The Barstow retails just under 100 bucks in this colorway, which is my favorite one. It's really popular on vintage street rides too. People who wear Biltwell Gringo helmets will often wear these. Now, what if I'm a racer? What if I'm a hardcore trail rider? And then I'm gonna care more about technicality than style. For my money, Climbs Radius Pro Moto goggles offer the best performance. And I'll show you what I mean. We have FogTech HD, so the lens is coated in a hydrophilic layer, spreading moisture across the lens rather than fogging it up. We have FOV+, Plus, which means that the frame, the lens gasket, and the strap connection are all set beyond my peripheral vision to maximize field of view. We have Polycarb UV400, which means that the lens passes EN174, ANSI Z87.1, and ASTM F659 safety ratings. And that would be the European norm for moto goggles, the American standard for occupational eye protection, and the international standard for ski and snowboard goggles. Plus, UV400 is also known as 100% protection from the sun's harmful rays. And finally, I get foam 3 plus and Radvent technology. 3 plus is a typical moisture wicking and breathable foam, and then Radvent is great at blocking dust and debris. I mean, neither of those two things are anything special on their own, but to find both compounds together in a goggle, well, that's a rare benefit. Of course, I get tear-off posts on the lens itself, and there's one on the strap too, so that's one step more technical than the Barstow. The ventilation is also way superior, with molded intakes up top, and then two on the bottom as well. And because the frame is a really good double layer, there's a lot more volume between my face and the lens itself on this model, so that helps to dissipate heat and humidity. In the box, I get this rigid carrying case, which I pretty much never see, and then there's this spare smoke-tinted visor, also a rare bonus, and then the carrying bag actually has two separate slots, one for the goggles, one for the spare lens, and so I like that as well. You also get seven tear-offs included and a removable nose guard. I mean, for $110, you just can't get a better goggle than the Climb Radius Pro. My only complaint is that because the field of vision is so wide, the frame is even wider. I and mean, this goggle barely fits inside my MX-9, and realistically, I would need an even bigger eye port on a helmet to use this goggle day to day. Something like the Climb's own F4 comes to mind. Now, I would say that the Radius Pro has an amazing value. You do get an insane amount of stuff for $110. But what if I don't have that much to spend? I mean, what's the most goggle I can get for 50 bucks? Right now, it's the 100% Akiri. And this is an $80 goggle most of the time, but if you choose the right colorway with a clear lens, you can get it for 50. To me, that's a crazy good deal. Quality Lexan lens, anti-fog, anti-scratch, the works. And this is an oversized strap as well. It's 45 millimeters wide, so it stays planted on my helmet better than most. There are tear-off pegs too, two of them on the lens, and then a third one on the strap. The frame is a really good double layer, so the airflow that I get through this middle window is better than anything else at the price point. This is a high-vis yellow and red lens colorway, so it is a little bit more expensive, but it does come with an extra clear lens in the box, so that takes the bite off the price tag a bit. Of course, there are a lot of options to go cheaper. 100% offers this goggle in 80 different colorways, so it's really easy to find a style that's going to fit my helmet and a price tag that's going to fit my wallet. Now speaking of fitment, the Akiri has a very standard frame size, so it fits in this Bell MX-9, no problem. Now, I don't wear glasses, but my buddy Amr does. Let's say Amr wants new motocross goggles for his birthday, and I like Amr, so 
I buy him Oakley's proven OTG goggles. OTG stands for over the glasses, and that's what these goggles do best. There's an enormous window between the two layers of the frame, so these fit great over prescription eyewear. Because there's so much depth to these goggles, they actually have a better airflow than anything on my list. And heat from Amr's face is gonna be evacuated, or at the very least dissipated by the time it hits the lens, so fogging, it's not gonna be a problem. What will be a problem is field of vision. Amr really sees the frame of these goggles in his peripheries because it's set so far away from his face. I also worry about dust getting into these top windows here because the foam that's covering them is really thin and visibly porous. But whatever, I bought Amr a $65 birthday present so you can just suck it up. And besides, I mean, these are the best over the glasses goggles that I know of, and the field of vision problems just come with the territory. Everything else is textbook moto. The anti-scratch, anti-fog lens passes EN174 safety ratings. There are pegs for racers that use tear-offs, and it comes with a microfiber bag in the box. And the frame size is pretty standard too. It fits in my MX-9, no problem. And that's it for my favorite off-road motocross goggles. Thank you guys very much for watching.